Hello everyone. I've uh, made a video of this before, but I am doing it again for an Ant Miner S7 how to set it up. Um, a few have noticed uh, were in upset when I put a uh, video of how to set up the Ant Miner S7 with an EVGA 1600 that I didn't do this part, but uh, I thought it was pretty much uh, uh, straightforward. But uh, I'm going to do it separately here. Since I use a Mac, I have an application called iScan, uh, IP Scanner Pro, which is always on and is constantly scanning my network for new IP addresses and uh, current ones. Um, usually, when you plug in a new um, um, app miner, it'll, uh, I have my router assigning uh, IP addresses uh, via DHCP. Uh, Directly to each ant miner that gets a, attached to my network or uh, powered on and uh, connected to my network. So, I, uh, for example, I get the IP address for the latest uh, ones. I have them here, dot uh, 21, and uh, basically this is it. So, when I uh, open in my browser, I get to that entering that IP address right here. I uh, go to minor configuration and I set up my uh, you know stratum I, um, address, URL here my username dot you know my workers I, I have all the s sevens together anyway the s fives together and s fours the password doesn't matter and I set my backup pools and then I click uh, save and apply after a few seconds. I get to this page and this is batch 7 so it's running at 5 terahertz as you can see here uh, it's important to watch for the ASIC numbers the frequency and temperature that's the biggest thing uh, right now they're running at 62 to 65 uh, Celsius which is pretty high given that uh, my basement right now is at 35 degrees Celsius which is about 90 Fahrenheit and this is important that you you constantly check that these are all zeros. You don't have any access. If you do, you make sure you go to System, Reboot, and you click Reboot. And uh, after maybe 100 seconds, it will be fully up and running again. Uh, and that, that's where you check minor status again. Uh, so that's the uh, simple and most important part. So uh, if you're not sure where to get the... Uh, the URL, that, this is the URL for your pool. So let's say you're mining on uh, Slush's pool. You would have to find that for Slush's pool. Uh, if you're on BitMentor, for example, they give you that information right here. You see Stratum T, uh, plus TCP and so on. And uh, you have to uh, set your username. I'll be doing a pool review in another video. So you're welcome to watch that too.